Markets have been on a wild ride ever since the Reserve Bank of India announced a surprise rate hike on 4th of May. While the benchmark Nifty 50 index has shed around 9% since then, individual housing finance companies have cracked up to 36%. Investors have shunned housing finance companies or HFCs amid fears that a sharp rise in interest rates and higher inflation can dent the housing finance demand in near term. This, in turn, may have a trickle-down effect on the demand for home financing. Yet, analysts believe fundamentally strong HFCs would be able to tide over the rate hike cycle better, even as they partially absorb increased interest rates. You know, if you look at large housing finance companies like HDFC Limited, LIC Housing, they do have a uh, you know good brand and a command on the uh, wholesale side as well, so they can borrow very effectively at a very competitive rate and lend to the end borrowers. Secondly, if you know, uh, you know the rates on the on the liability side kind of, uh, you know, reprice with a lag because they have some portion of uh, uh, borrowing is fixed in nature, but the uh, most of the uh, asset side, which is the loans which they have given are uh, floating in nature. So what happens is that as the rate go up, the asset side gets repriced very fast versus the liability side to a certain extent. And that also benefit the housing finance company. Home loan rates, which stood at around 6.5% in April 2022, have risen above 7% now. However, analysts believe they are still within comfortable limits, thus protecting buyers' interest. That said, analysts warn that HFCs, which cater to the price-sensitive segment of affordable housing, may see some margin erosion in the short to medium term. I think this whole retail lending, especially home loan lending, is, is highly competitive right now. And many of the financial players are also moving away from corporate loans to only retail loans, which is kind of leaving a gap there, but it is intensifying the competition here. And to that extent, I think to maintain the growth momentum, it is kind of possible that some of these HFCs may choose to absorb some of the which will impact their margins. Kotak Institutional Equities expects affordable HFCs under their coverage to witness 10 to 70 basis point year-on-year -year decline in net interest margin in FY23 and further 20 to 100 basis points in FY24. The brokerage said, while there is headroom for increased rates, most affordable HFCs did not pass on the benefit of lower rates to borrowers. Hence, they may be slower in passing on rate hikes. Overall, financials will remain on investor radar in the immediate future, as credit recovery will be keenly watched to gauge the health of the economy. On Friday, Japan's inflation data, US home sales data, and stock-specific action will guide the markets in India. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. अब क्या किया? Shares में trading. तुम्हें five पैसा नहीं पता? ओए! अब तो सबको पता है. Five पैसा पर मिलते हैं research tools, portfolio analytics और investment ideas भी. Download five पैसा now. अब तो सबको पता है. Investing made easy and rewarding with five पैसा. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.